Club Waddles, a now lost Club Penguin fan game, emerged in late 2008 as a labour of love by a guy named Nightguy23 in Six Strings, who served as the moderators of the game, inspired by their desire to have their own MMOG, massively multiplayer online game, they could call their own. They embarked on the creation of Club Waddles. Although the game did not see a full release, it left an indelible mark on the Club Penguin fan community during its short existence. The objective behind Club Waddles was to offer players an immersive experience in a virtual world where they could interact as ducks residing on an island. The game aimed to replicate the charm and excitement of Club Penguin, allowing players to purchase virtual clothing, raise their own duck avatar, socialize, explore various environments and forge new friendships. One notable event in Club Waddles was the Sketchathon contest, which took place from March 28th to April 6th, 2009. During this contest, players had the opportunity to create fan art, ranging from items like hats, glasses, t-shirts, trousers, shoes and sandals, to send to Club Waddles via email. The six winners, five from the item contest and one from the room contest, had their fan art incorporated into the game. Unfortunately, Club Waddles remained unfinished and never officially launched. Only beta tests were conducted, which are no longer accessible due to the end of Flash Player, and the unavailability of working Wayback Machine links. However, gameplay videos of the beta tests can still be found on YouTube, providing glimpses into the envisioned experience. The game's moderators played a crucial role in maintaining a safe and enjoyable environment for players. They had the authority to assign bans to penguins found breaking the Club Waddle rules, such as engaging in disrespectful behaviour, revealing personal information, using inappropriate language, or cheating. Additionally, players could report others, leading to potential bans if the reports were deemed valid by the moderators. The accounts of players found breaking the rules would be turned to ash. Club Waddles also implemented a membership system where players had the option to pay for additional features and benefits. Membership granted access to exclusive clothing options from the Waddle store, member parties, member rooms, the ability to purchase expressions and the opportunity to become a secret spy, among other advantages. Although the game never achieved a full release, the Club Waddles fan community eagerly anticipated its potential launch in 2009. Beta testers played a crucial role in refining the game by testing its features, reporting bugs, glitches and providing support to moderators. Their efforts were rewarded with exclusive perks, including a special beta test party hat, 5,000 in-game coins and a one-month membership free of charge. Unfortunately, the development of Club Waddles faced setbacks, leading to its ultimate demise. In the middle of 2009, the game shut down due to the departure of key individuals involved, such as the Soul Coder, Bod720, as well as Kyle, Rakumin and Scoobymad, the moderators. Despite their best intentions, the creators of Club Waddles were unable to sustain the project. Club Waddles may have faded into obscurity, but its legacy lives on as a testament to the passion and creativity of the Club Penguin fan community. It serves as a reminder of the profound impact virtual worlds can have on players, fostering friendships and providing an escape into an imaginative realm. So what do you think? Do you remember Club Waddles? Let me know. Thank you all for watching. See you next time for another episode of Forgotten Internet.